If you're interested in supporting this work, you can support me on Patreon, and that will help me make more videos and more podcasts for you in the future. I'll click the link down below on Patreon, or I'll put the link up here in the corner to Patreon, so you can go there and become a Patreon supporter. Get mantra and meditation MP3s at jasongallant.ca. A powerful spiritual practice can be seeing things for what they are and not for what you want them to be. If we're going to look at insanity, if you see it in an extreme circumstance, a person will see things that aren't even there. They will see everything through their own veils or their own projection. They'll look at past wrongdoings on their part or on the part of others. And then everything in this moment, they will look at and compare to that history and say, how is this the same as that? Spending all their time defending something that isn't there, right? They see swords and daggers everywhere. And this is the way the ego is. It, it has a history and it will project that history onto anything that is in front of it instead of seeing something for what it really is. Right? It's a filtration device. The ego, when it's very strong, becomes a very strong filtration device. It will whittle down the immensity of reality into a couple simple misunderstandings. So a powerful practice for you is to look at anything and to make the effort to see it as it is instead of what you think it is. This can be a powerful doorway. Now I'm not saying projections won't be there. I'm not saying that you'll all of a sudden know all the truth of life, but you will experience something that is much deeper than the mind. That's really what you're on this path for, is for a deeper experience of life. When your experience of life deepens, then a lot of the fears and desires you have fall away. You won't be so caught up into getting rid of your fears or desiring stuff to compensate for other stuff that's inside you, other pain, because you will be able to experience truth as it is in every moment, because you are not projecting an experience upon reality. You are saying, reality, show me what the experience truly is. This is really, really powerful. And it takes a certain amount of humility and receptivity on a spiritual aspirant's part in order for this to work. If you are stubborn, if you're saying, no, no, I choose to see everything the way I want to see it, you will be stuck. And you may be stuck for a long time. And we've all been there, so I'm not chastising you. I'm just saying that the secret is to let go of your own projections. Stop overlaying history, stop overlaying ideas, stop overlaying your thoughts over top of this moment. Sometimes overlaying your thoughts and projections and history can be helpful when you're moving around at a fast pace through the mind but it is horrible for deepening your experience of life. So let it all go. Take moments to let it go. Just take moments. If something is causing you suffering, maybe you don't know everything about that something. Maybe you don't know everything about a certain situation. It's really as simple as if being right is causing you suffering, allow yourself to be wrong. 
Freedom is the end game, not being right. Your own fulfillment is the end game. Your own deeper experience of the infinite is the end game. And when you choose to align with this instead of the mind, it doesn't matter what trick the mind throws at you, you can wiggle free. Sometimes a good place to start is just to look at a tree or a flower and see whatever is there as it is and let go of any of your history or projections upon it. Any of the thoughts that come up, just let them go and just be with the thing that is before you or the being that is before you, the life that's before you. Don't assume anything. Take a moment not to assume. Can you feel it? It's so immensely powerful and it's so simple. When you make no assumptions, an incredible amount of love shows up for you. Love that's always been here. And as you're on this spiritual path, this will deepen and it continues to deepen. Perhaps everything you have suffered about has been a great misunderstanding. So many people get wrapped up in suffering and they stay there just to be right. When you get sick of being right, just let it go. What's the point of holding on to something if it's causing you suffering? It's kind of like fire. I love fire. Fire's great to maybe heat your food or cook your food or, or heat your house. <laughs> but it sure is horrible if you're standing in it. So why not let it go? <laughs> Just take a step out of it for a bit. Being right is a lot like that fire. Hold on to it for too long, it will burn you. There will be some places in your life where you find that it is impossible for you to let go of trying to be right. So don't worry about going to those places. Maybe you're right after all. Start with the simple stuff. Just start with being with the wind. Being with the snow. being with yourself. Make no assumptions about yourself. That's a big one. Make no assumptions based on limitation or history or future, future projections. based on mistakes you think you made, let that all go and just be here with yourself. If you surrender deep enough, if you do this long enough, perfection will show itself. The mind will never understand it, but it's naturally here.
The sky doesn't judge itself based on the wind that whips through it. Imagine you're this guy. Many things may move through. Thoughts, emotions, powerful energy. But when you stop assuming what it all means, freedom happens. Again, it's that surrender I keep talking about. No assumptions. Just being here without projection. So I hope this helps you on your spiritual journey. Take care for now. Those of you who are interested in taking a formal course on enlightenment, my teacher Aratima offers a formal course called the Wisdom Life School. You can get more information at aratima.com.